right guys so I'm carrying you guys on a journey I am making some gizada but they actually see what I do so I cut up the butter for the pastry part of it I cut up the butter <coughs> to do the pastry to put in the flour and this is what I'm doing it's a lot because um, it's the order that I got so I'm using a good amount of butter and if you know about shortcut pastry you know that um, your ingredients that you're using in terms of the butter and the flour has to be cold so this is one stick of butter um, our Jamaican butter this is the gold seal brand not doing any advertisement over here I'm just telling you guys what I use one stick yes one stick of butter I think I'm gonna use another um, cut as in half of a half yeah how you want it make your your pastry tasting really nice you know add that little crunch and so forth so after i'm through with this i am going to i'm going to use my hands to separate the butter in the flour so I can get that crummy crumminess anybody who know about this other will know exactly what I'm talking about I don't know when the camera just look dark alright guys so this is the flour and the butter I think I got just use another half so this is one and a half And I think this floor you could say is two pounds. The one and a half sticks up. Alright, let me show you something now. So while I'm doing this, making the dough, my the filling is on the fire, which is the grated coconut along with sugar, and you put in your spices. All spice cinnamon powder um a little ground ginger let me show you cinnamon powder i put a little almond essence in it and island spice vanilla so you spice it So guys, I can't exactly say the, um, the measurement right now, but I eyeball it. That is what I do. I, I eyeball the amount of spices that I um, need to use. So alright, I don't want the butter to get warm, because the kitchen is a bit warm. So I'm using my hands. To get the butter crumbly in the flour right and you want it to spread out when you make the dough you can see the butter through and that is spreading this butter is really tough you know, because i was on the road so i left it in the freezer i put it in the freezer for a second to um to get cold along with the flour as about them but you know I was on the road and I was doing other stuff so 
I'm gonna chip it back in a second, okay guys? Alright, hopefully you guys can see what is happening here. It's raining and the place is dark and my light is not doing me any justice. So this is the door. I already cleaned my counter and now I am going to roll out the door so I can start making the cross. Alright. So you roll it to get the extra fit in terms of the thickness. I hope that you are seeing everything that is happening here. Guys, I really I try with them um, something. Else. I forgot about one ring light. Because at the end of the day, it makes no sense. Yeah, I watch one video. And you know, see it clearly. And yes, we you know that is not everybody. I yeah. a hundred right time on a life. Not true. Alright, so. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, and I am rolling. When I'm getting making, I will show you that part. But for now, I am just rolling out the door to get it to a certain angle. So, guys, this is what I'll be using. I normally use another plate to make the the sides of the the door, but. I can't find it, so I will be using this to make the circle. And yes, this is a gloss plate, so you know we have to use it with caution. This one, all time people would have said, take your caution. I know that me and the right now. Right? So I am getting it. In a certain size. Don't watch here because it will be pinched, so it will be okay. Yeah. Alright, so you flower the door according to how moist it is and how you want it. Now after I made my door. I place it in the refrigerator so that it can stay um, cold. For those who know about about um, pastry and making pastry, especially these Jamaican treaties, you know that you have to keep your dough cold. Even when you are making it, you should use. I'm gonna use the video that I already made but um, the video is a bit dark so I'm kind of hesitant but just to make you guys and, and I've already preheated pre my oven to 200 and it's 260 but um, as soon as I put them in I'm gonna take it on a notch because I don't want the dough to um, be too dry. As persons complain when it's too dry, say, you, you know, take time and ensure that it's baked slowly and accordingly. And everybody has teeth like that to bite it. So, you know, I make them too tough so people can't chew them. Especially the crust, you know, and dry out the local substance in the middle of the car. Remember, say you cook it on the stove already, so you know, they want to ensure that it, it has the moisture in it. So, I'm going to 
two. About two more. And the rain is falling, so in here it's getting a bit warm. So I have to be keep um, ensuring that I flower the door so it don't get saggy and can pinch to make the cross, right? So this is the only problem I'm having right now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, listen. The more I bake, the more I learn that, you know, it's common sense, a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things are common sense, you know. You just use your common sense to know certain things. Because, you know, as I said, the shortcut pastry, you use coal cold ice water and you use also cold you ensure that the butter is cold the ice water is cold down to the flour because you want it to keep it at a certain um temperature so it can keep that um way you call it texture for when you are ready to actually make the the cross right so while you're doing it, it might get a bit warm, but it doesn't mean that you cannot continue. You just have to use skill. Right? Alright, so this is me. And now I'm about to. And then your surface, you want to ensure that it's the it you flow it as often as possible based on the feeling that you're, you will be getting from. All right, look at this now. So this is what I do. Pinch, put this finger here. I hope that you guys are seeing this. And you pinch it around. This is what I do. So as I said before, even if the edges may have a little, you know, this figure you can still do it a certain way that it it comes back you know because baking is a form of heart right? let me show you this is what it looks like guys side so pinch with this finger and use my next finger to push out. Alright? Ah, me with the phone, all in the phone, and trying to show you guys what is happening here. It's kind of technical and difficult. And my daughter, let me do another one, show you guys. Because I have to really um, um do this as fast as possible because as I said inside here is getting warm the rain is falling yes this is how I do my gizara yes and I do ensure that my counter is properly clean it's a tile counter and I sanitize and clean my counter properly so I can do all this on here, right? And this is what it looks like. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to get back to doing the rest of this. When I'm through, I'll come back to you.